I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Hello everyone and welcome back to our continuing playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. We are starting today with Mass Effect 2 Insanity Mode and I am so excited to do this. If you want to see uh, the, the very beginning of Mass Effect 2, what happens as soon as you start the, the, the prologue, if you will, uh, that, that section is actually at the end of Mass Effect 1. Uh, I feel like it's a more cohesive thing. So let's jump into it. We are starting Mass Effect to right now and i am so excited for this uh it's gonna be such a good time but i have a question for you going into now we're going into mass effect 2 we're going into mass effect 3 uh and i'm curious uh, about for for you guys watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m eastern uh we I, I, do you guys want a face cam while we're playing the game let me know in the comments of this video and uh maybe that's something that we add in the future personally i feel like uh i i prefer not having it I feel like it's a little more immersive and we're a little more involved in the game without the face cam. So I'm curious how you guys feel. It's on regardless. So just let me know. All right, let's jump into it. We got stuff to do. It's Mass Effect 2 Insanity Difficulty. Here we go. We're going to have our squad power usage off and our auto level up is uh, is off as well because we want as much control of this game as possible. We are importing Commander Corey Shepard, the one, the only. Level 57, supposedly, these are going to be the max. We're going to get the max stuff for importing our character right here, right now. Uh, everything that you can possibly get by importing, we'll have it. We'll get the money, we'll get the levels, um, which is actually a very cool thing about starting Mass Effect 2. If you start with an imported character that's about level 57 or higher, uh, which for me was level 29 in the le the legendary uh, mode of leveling, you will start the game at level 5. Uh, you'll also start with about 100,000 credits uh, and some resources that you'll actually be seeing in the future. So I definitely recommend, if you are going to start playing Mass Effect 2, I do recommend that you import your character. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth! We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her.
Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. And just like that, Commander Corey Shepard is brought back to life thanks to Cerberus and the Lazarus Project, something that we saw uh, the elusive man and Miranda Lawson actually talking about, which is super cool. So we can actually walk through uh, what's going to happen now because I have some surprises for you, dear viewer. Obviously, Lazarus being uh, uh, one of, a reference to Lazarus of Bethany, who in, in uh, some Bible stories uh, was resurrected after four days and, and all this other stuff. So we are going to keep Commander Corey Shepard's look, her face, because she is just so beautiful. And we're going to jump into a few different things here that I really want to talk about. So the transition from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2 is actually a really big deal, especially when it comes to combat gone are the really uh core rpg elements all of the inventory management all of that stuff that you're dealing with in mass effect 1 the mods all of the stuff that you do to your guns it's pretty much gone in mass effect 2 and it's a lot less of a tactical rpg shooter type thing and a lot more of a cover based shooter and you'll see that when we get into this it is a lot more cover based so with that a lot of the classes have actually kind of been redesigned and how they work so i want to go over some of the classes that we can be of course we have soldier here that the unique powers that they have that are exclusive to them are the adrenaline rush which allows them to slow down time so that they can get perfect shots and the concussive shot which fires a high powered round that can actually knock down targets can be super useful uh they're also the class with the most health and because this is such a shooter based game now soldiers are a wonderful wonderful class to pick if that's what you're thinking we also have infiltrators, which yet again keeps the idea of uh, of shooting uh, and sniper rifles up to a big thing. And I actually would recommend if you are playing this game on Insanity for the first time ever, I would highly, highly recommend playing an infiltrator. They uh, a lot of the enemies that you'll be seeing in Insanity difficulty have a lot of uh, shields and armor and all this other stuff um, that adepts, which we were playing before, just have a really hard time dealing with in Mass Effect 2 infiltrators have a bunch of tools to dismantle those they have cryo ammo they have disruptor ammo they have incinerate they have ai hacking they can deal with so many different things as well as having a unique thing for them called tactical cloak they can become invisible to enemies for a few seconds which is actually incredibly strong then we uh we have the sentinel we're gonna we're gonna skip vanguard for just a second uh sentinel is incredibly powerful in mass effect 2 incredibly powerful they have a tech armor this armor boosts shields and damages enemies when it's destroyed making them one of the tankiest characters i know soldiers have more health but this makes them one of the tankiest they have biotics they have techs uh this is also another really good class i would recommend taking into mass effect 2 and in fact if i wasn't doing this series that's 100 percent what i would be picking right now uh just because i think i think they have the best tools to deal with mass effect 2 uh but i don't think they're the most fun to watch uh then we have adept so adept is uh, a lot different in this game in that a lot of the biotics can actually be thrown around cover and and through things but you're gonna have trouble dealing with the enemy defenses because biotics don't really work on armor and and shields and all that uh which is why you're gonna have some heavy squad usage if you do decide to roll adept on insanity now their unique power is singularity which uh does exactly what it did in the first game it forms a mass effect field that pulls enemies into it finally we have engineer engineer is exactly what you think it is they are pretty similar to how they were before except now they can actually spawn in a combat drone uh, that draws enemy fire and can stun targets and that's a really good class as well uh engineer infiltrator sentinel are very very good to deal with some of the problems that you'll be dealing with in mass effect 2. however my friends we Commander Corey Shepard learned a couple things during her time in Mass Effect 1, and that is that she cannot rely simply on her biotic implants. She needs to get in there and finish the job. She needs to be the knife that cuts through the butter. 
And that's why, my friend, she is going to become a Vanguard. A Vanguard specializes in Mass Effect 2 with the ability Biotic Charge. It is a Biotic Charge at a target, delivering massive damage, allowing her to cruise all throughout. She actually uses Biotics to propel herself into combat. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Relying on our allies to help us deal, strip some of those enemy uh, uh, defenses, while also getting in there and just obliterating everything with a shotgun. And that, my friends, is going to be what Commander Corey Shepard does in Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. I'm so excited for this. Now, because of the DLC that comes with the Legendary Edition, we have Flashbang Grenade, one of the uh, powers that we can choose here. We don't have any other bonus powers at the moment, so that's what we're going to rock. Now, we still are a colonist soul survivor, of course. Vanguard Flashbang Grenade. Let's get to it, my friends. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I Her poor face! You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and arm. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. So Take I want to show. Shepard. Thank you, Miranda. But I want to show off some things real quick. So, like I said, we are level five now because we got those the the transfer bonuses that you can get when you start a new game imported with a max level uh, Shepard, which we were pretty much maxed. Uh, because of a damn bug. I'm still mad about it. So you can see that this is what we have now. This is our powers a lot smaller than what you might be used to in Mass Effect 1, uh, but very, very powerful stuff. Incendiary ammo, uh, cryo ammo actually just applies these effects to your bullets, which can be super helpful. And then of course we have charge, which is our bread and butter, my friends. Wait until you see this thing if you've never seen it before. It is glorious. We have shockwave, which can be useful. Pull which uh, is kind of like, um, it's the opposite of, of what we had before. It's the opposite of throw. It's kind of a combination of throw and lift, except you pull them towards you. Uh, assault Mastery and Flashbang Grenade. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about putting points into Flashbang Grenade, to be totally honest with you. Uh, I don't think it's that great right now. Uh, and there are other bonus powers that we will be getting that are going to be better. So I am instead going to put some points into charge, making sure that we have charge as best as we can. This thing is so incredibly good and i can't wait to show you guys that also if we look at our journal we'll see save joker we did that already uh at the end of mass effect one and prologue awakening we need to finish our training now we also have scars if you notice which is very interesting because our renegade is super down but our paragon is is kind of filled up now you'll also notice that we don't have um any more charm or intimidate however what we do have is assault mastery your relentless fighting style increases your weapon damage reduces power recharge time and increases your paragon and renegade points i definitely recommend putting some points into that as well that's going to increase our health our weapon damage our power recharge time which is super good in mass effect 2 uh we want that to be as as high as possible and paragon renegade plus 40 percent which is going to help us kind of get what we want to do in an rpg element so we have to go in a cover and hit x when we get there that'll blow the door And the new thing here is that we thermal clip. So actually guns now have ammo in this game. So we'll go here and then vault over. And then we're going to have to deal with a new enemy. 
a hacked mech, which we can destroy super quickly. Now, I should have shown you the charge there because it's awesome. And you'll also see that we can pick up more clips there. And as soon as we come through here, we're going to have to face more enemies. We're going to go ahead and run into this cover. Thank you, Miranda. The big thing about playing in Insanity in this game is that you actually don't want to charge. If we would have charged that first one, we actually would have been stuck and completely out of cover. What a lot of uh, speedrunners will actually do, though, is they will charge uh, <laughs> so that they can just skip the area. Wait for some shields to come back. And then we'll go ahead and charge. Look at that. That's our new charge ability, my friends. We'll go ahead and just knock that one out with our melee hits. It's so beautiful, man. Oh, God, it's so good. To, it's so good to have that back. So we're going to head over here. There's nothing that we can get in this item in this room except for a more thermal clip, which we can go ahead and grab. And you can see that we have our power wheels uh, like we did before. Our one is going to give us incendiary ammo. We have our flashbang grenade and triangle. Uh, we can map our powers and stuff as well. Um, is going to give uh, the, the, the incendiary stuff. So we can turn that on if we want. Although it's not a huge deal to be totally honest with you. But might as well use it. We have it, right? Oh no, what is that? Oh, they're dead. Oh, oh they're very dead. Okay, moving on. As soon as we open this door... Looks like we have a grenade launcher. Whoa. We'll go ahead and equip that. And destroy them by shooting them with the... <laughs> it's so cool. Now, you actually don't have to use the grenade there. Uh, you, can, you can just kill them by using pistol, but that doesn't sound as fun to me. We'll go ahead and sprint through the fire so it doesn't hurt us. And... Honestly, one of the best... If you ask me, this is one of the best openings to a game ever. So we actually have some mechs there. We'll go ahead and kill those real quick. We can actually open this wall safe for some credits here. Access these data logs. This is, if you're wondering, this is the Cerberus that we were battling in Mass Effect 1. The ones that, that killed uh, the Admiral there. The ones that were doing all of these experiments. The ones that we destroyed. The We did, there was a lot. And now suddenly they want to resurrect us and they're afraid for humanity. And... The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Seems like Wilson wants some more money. Four billion dollars to resurrect Shepard. Hell yeah. You're damn right. We're gonna go through here. Hey, what's up, bud? Oh no, dude! Oh, you're so dead! That seemed really excessive. I don't I don't know if you really needed that's fine. Miranda, you say. Go ahead and open this door. See if we can help this guy out. My shields. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Uh, excuse me? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. 
Uh, few questions. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Yeah, no, that'll work. Jacob Taylor, our new friends, going to help us out quite a bit as we proceed through this game. He's one of our newest squad mates. There we go. I got the, uh, the Merciless, or at least one there. Now, we also want to get headshots for the Headhunter trophy. I think we did it. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Literally everything. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Which explains, kinda, why we're a vanguard now. Can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. Best technology money could buy. All right, what about my crew, man? The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Hmm. Who could do that, I wonder? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally, I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. All right, let's get out of here then, Which Jacob. Way to those shuttles. Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Wilson? So Wilson kept us alive? Seems like a good guy. Look at all those dead bodies over there. I didn't do it. Anyways, let's go through, see if we can find Wilson, help him out. We now have Jacob on our squad. 
And actually, if we look, we'll see that he has some points that we can do. Cerberus Operative being one of his, his like special skills that he can do there, uh, increasing his health and weapon damage. Uh, and then once you max it out, you can actually choose, much like the AI mission in Mass Effect 1, you can choose their specializations and, and how you kind of want them to go. Uh, for our friend Jacob here, we are going to put some points into his pull because I think that's actually going to make it a little bit better. A lot, and we'll get into this in a future episode, but a lot of his, a lot of bio, there's, uh, there's new things that you can do, primers and all this. We'll get into it, trust me, but I want to make sure that we have as many points as we can. So I'm actually just going to do two into incendiary ammo, so that's a little bit better for him, and one into Cerberus operative. Cool. Now we can continue. I feel good. You can see on the UI there, you can see that we have uh, Jacob down there. And it looks like we also have more mechs to deal with. I want to use charge more. I need more charge. There we go. So one charge in a quick knock, punch, whatever. Quick melee? That's the word I was looking for. Wilson, where are you? Server It'll take him out very quickly. Up those stairs, Look at how cool. I'm hit. Obviously, you can tell a huge, a huge difference in the environments from going from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2. Big fan. Shepard, down here. Wilson, what are you doing, bud? Bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> We talk about this after we fix my leg. Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid Perfect. station on the wall. Thank you. This is just kind of teaching us how to use uh, meta gel. Wilson's and then we hurt. can go ahead and activate that. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. I don't trust this guy at all. So we can go ahead and use his overload, Wilson's overload, That's which will it. blow Let's up this canisters and uh, all of the mechs that were there as well, which cool. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project program that rebuilt you it's funded and controlled by Cerberus <laughs> we get the option of never heard of them <laughs> I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a specter back then they were trying to kill me why the change of heart those answers are way above my pay grade but basically things change the Alliance declared you dead they gave up Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. 
I love how she doesn't notice all of the Cerberus insignias everywhere. She didn't notice any of that. I mean, I guess, I guess she's got a lot going on. So I, I don't fully blame her, but you know, still. Anyways, we, there's a data pad here we can access real quick for 1,600 credits and a whole lot of dead bodies. You'll also see that we have Wilson on our squad, uh, but not, not really. Look at, it's uh, like obviously everything around here is Cerberus. It's fine. Go ahead and open this door. We're gonna have more to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and charge in. And immediately back up as much as we can here, get into cover. We're gonna go ahead and overload our uh, sh uh, pull and then have overload here. That'll shut down that mech. That mech is dead. We actually have a couple more. We're actually going to switch to our other gun here. And I do recommend doing this. We're going to switch to our heavy ammo, run up these stairs, wait for this door to open here, and fire in. Take them all out. Taking down those. That's how you do it, my friends. That's the power of Vanguard. So, so good. There's also stuff in here that we can grab. Another data pad for 1,700 credits and a laptop. The test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Very interesting. We were... Commander Corey Shepard was... was done. Anyways, the wall safe that we got earlier, it just kind of gave it to us. Uh, normally, you have to bypass that, which is by highlighting individual nodes to find matching symbols. Uh, so we have to actually do this real quick. So we'll go ahead and start the bypass, and then we need to... Um, whoop. Hang on. Let's not fail that. So the way that you do this is you find ones that match, and you just connect those... Uh, so you kind of have to hover over them real quick and see which ones go to where. And done. You have plenty of time to bypass that. But that's that's the new mini game, the new bypassing mini game. 2,400 credits. We want as many credits as we can. Also, I don't think I showed you, but if you look on the very bottom there, you'll see that we have palladium, iridium, platinum, and element zero, 10,000. That's the max that you can get when importing a new character, a maxed out new character. And our credits were at 157,000. Uh, again, from the bonus that we get for um, transferring uh, an Im or importing a save. Also, I just wanted to point out that you could come down here. There's nothing actually down here for you. It kind of all connects back. Uh, and is another way that you could have gone instead of running up those stairs. I prefer running up the stairs because it gives you a clearer shot of the... Gives you more cover and gives you a clearer shot of the mechs that are jumping in there. Heavy ammo being super, super good in this game. Very useful. All right. That's it for this opening area. Let's go ahead and open this door and see what happens next. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. The best, the best. That's the, that's the best line. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Uh, yeah, are we just leaving his body here? Is it just gonna, like, rot? Like, what's up? What are we doing here? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? 
The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. So my ego's starting to get a little big here. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. <laughs> Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Yeah, I don't want to do that. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I guess so. All right, well, that's all we can ask, so let's get out of here. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. <laughs> that's a good point. It's a very good... Look at that station, though. Very cool looking. Reminds me of uh, Boba Fett's ship. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Two Did years? Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when the slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> And we're heading to where the Elusive Man is. Now, funny story, back in the day, there was a glitch, which they obviously fixed in Legendary Edition. Maybe not a glitch, but they would actually ask you, even if you the imported a Mass Effect save, the other room. they would ask you who joined the council. And we got some Paragon and Renegade options there, or points there, I should say, uh, which you can see our bar. We haven't had any Renegade or Paragon options yet, but trust me, when we do, it's pretty dope. I wouldn't keep the Elusive Man waiting. Okay. Who is this guy? The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Okay, well, I guess we got to go talk to the elusive man. Also, we can customize our armor here, which is pretty dope. We can change to have no helmet. We can do a recon hood. Um, all of these actually have different uh, stats applied to them as well. So if you look at the, uh, the helmet here, you can see that this uh, increases our health by 5%. Our breather helmet increases uh, health by 5%. And the Recon Hood actually increases weapon damage by 5%, which is pretty cool. And then we have the chest plate that we can equip here. Um, we don't, we only have one, so that's the only one that we have, uh, <laughs> which is increases power damage by 3%. And then we have shoulder guards. So this is the customizing that you actually get in this game. And while we don't have anything yet, we will eventually. So you'll see that we obviously have the Recon Hood. And then we have uh, legs, which increases shield strength. And you can change the material, which is just a cosmetic thing to make it look shinier or not. 
uh, but that's what we'll, we'll go ahead and do. And then you can change the, the tint of it if you'd like to be all of these different colors. Uh, we're going to find something. We're going to find something that we like real quick. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm into it. I like the different the different color on the armband there. It looks looks neat. And then casual appearance, we can actually change how we appear when we're uh, when we're not in our outfit. I don't like this one. It's a little too colonist one uh, for me, so I'm not a big fan. Uh, and then we have our like jogger set, which is pretty funny, uh, and a hot ass dress. Woo, girl! Uh, and <laughs> I'm gonna rock with uh, what I feel like my my commander Corey Shepard would rock, which is which is that right there. And then we can go ahead and exit. We're good. We have some the recon hood on. Look at how look at how cool we look. So that's like a neat little thing that you can do now. Uh, you no longer have to have. It's no longer tied to, you know. Yes, it's right tied to stats, but not as much. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Hmm. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Very interesting. Maybe I do if believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. 
It's up to you to do the rest. And we get the trophy very elusive. We leveled up to level six. We have some more codex for Scholar, which is very nice. Guys, the elusive man plus a thousand experience gained. Investigate the colony freedom's progress. So apparently, if you remember, obviously, there was a ship that destroyed the Normandy like it was nothing. Complete one of the most advanced ships absolutely destroyed. And now it seems like Alliance colonies, just humans from all over, are being harvested? And it doesn't seem like anybody is dealing with that except for Cerberus. So at what point do you say, you know what? I don't trust you, but I have to, I have to, I have to do this, you know? Scary stuff. So we are, uh, we got about two skill points from leveling up to level six, but we're not going to use those yet. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't mind waiting for our big, big uh, charge here that we can do. And we have some new things that we can, you know, two more skill points and we'll be able to max out our charge and, and do whatever we want there. Now, there are uh, ways of uh, uh, putting your points into other things and respecking. So don't be too afraid of, oh, I accidentally put a point. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Trust me. So uh, Shockwave, I'm going to put a point into there for now, just so that we have another ability that we can use. Uh, and it's actually pretty useful for with with the combination of Jacob and uh, Shockwave. Uh, we have investigate investigate the missing colonists. A ship is waiting for you in the hangar bay to take you to Freedom's Progress and look for clues that might explain what happened to the missing colonists on Freedom's Progress. And uh, we, of course, Miranda is here as well. We the can go ahead and talk to them. very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for, only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Huh. Interesting. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I love Miranda Lawson, by the way. What a fantastic character uh, introduced in Mass Effect 2. One of my favorites, actually. Surprisingly. All right, Jacob. What about you, man? I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. 
They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. Like we were pirates. supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. I feel like Jacob and Garrus would, uh, would be friends. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. You know, I gotta respect that. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. And we get more Paragon points for being, you know, a little bit, a little bit nice during that, uh, during those, those talks. So, we are heading to Freedom's Progress in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode as we get back into the swing of things. Uh, hopefully, we have a video every day, uh, but we'll see around 2 p.m. Eastern. I'll be premiering these episodes, uh, hopefully, and we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Thank you guys so much for checking out the first video of Mass Effect 2, and I'm very excited to get through the rest of this. This game is incredibly high-paced, uh, 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 frantic and high paced, especially when playing a Vanguard. And I think you guys are really going to like it. And I think you guys are really going to like some of the characters that you get to meet in Mass Effect 2. Uh, it definitely builds on everything that Mass Effect 1 did. And to be honest, I think this might just be a better game. So thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the mechs of Cerberus. Bye, everyone.